Hello, musicians of the future. It's me again, Ms. Ruth, volunteering with the public schools in Oakland, California. So today I thought we'd make some art out of the treble clef. Because, of course, to get good at drawing the treble clef, you're going to have to practice doing that. And it might be kind of boring to just draw treble clefs. So let's make something out of them. So here are some possible designs, like this, like this, and one more, which is like this. So I gotta show you how to do these. And the way to do this one is to take um, two lids, kind of like this, like a big yogurt lid, and do this part in pencil because you're gonna erase this later, okay? But it's a guideline for you now. And then put a smaller one in the middle of that and draw a pencil line around that one, okay? And then in the middle of that, you have to kind of put a dot or a circle, okay? So when you get done with that um, in pencil, I what I did was I made it over again in ink so that you could see where they are and what I was doing because I'm using those two lines there as a reference for drawing the circle part of the treble clef. So you start drawing the uh, treble clef and then you do one upside down like that and then you have to do one over here. So it's kind of like northeast, south, and west. Uh, so let's draw one here. And then let's turn that upside down and do one on the other side of that. So that would be right here. And then you would draw in between here, in between there, in between there, and in between there. And erase these lines, the circles that you put there in the first place. And you would get this one right here. All right? So now this thing here, this is just the, the, the normal treble clef, but we kind of decorated it. So let's do that right now. Let's decorate that thing. And let's see, I think we can put one on top of here and do it this way. So we draw the treble clef. Oops, wrong direction. Okay, so I should start here. And then we make it a little fatter in some spots. And like this and like this. And then maybe we add something in here. Some flower petals. We put a few curly cues coming out of that. And uh, oh, looks one like one could be down there. So we could add curls over here too. And ever, wherever you like. And let's put another kind of flower petal thing down here. And put some curly cues coming out of that. And we could even do something like this if we wanted to. So this would make your treble clef, but it would be all decorated. So that's another example. And the third example we have is this one here, in which case we just kind of made the treble clef pointed at the top. So um, we start here, we go up here, and then we just make this kind of pointed and then come straight down here and like that. So it's a long and skinny pointy one. And then we can put a little wave on this line here if we want. We can fatten this up here a little bit, fatten this up over here, fatten this up over here. And we can color these in. So I'll just color in this one, although you would probably want to color in all of it. Let's just color in this one right here. And then we add, add a few stars like that. Add a star over here, see how I'm doing this? That's how you draw a star. Put little highlights around the stars. Put little dots along here if you like. Dots coming up here. Stars all over here. Okay, and you get the idea how you would make this one. Decorate it any way you like, because it's all gonna look great. And the last one is this one here, where I took the staff, so I had to draw five lines. One, two, three, four, five, right? I had to draw my treble clef on there, and I drew the note G. You can put more notes on there if you want. Then I took these lines and I continued them out this way, doing a, like a loop-de-loop, -loop. and over here, a loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop, and bloop, like that, okay? So whatever curly cues you want to make out there, 
And then you can start putting little leaves on these. So you just draw little leaves on these. Anywhere you like, you can put them on here too. And if you want to make the rosebuds, that's going to be easy, easy peasy. You draw a U like this, and then you start here and you make a spiral. And there's your rosebud. It's so simple, but it looks cool, I think. And so you can put those all over these. You can draw whatever you want on those curly cues, or you can leave them as curly cues. But these will make very nice presents for somebody as a, a gift card. You can put their name on it especially if it begins with G. And um, that's just something, a way for you to practice drawing your clefts, drawing your staff, drawing your notes, and developing your fine motor control. So keep going, keep practicing, and we'll get together again soon. Bye.